Okay, um, we continue. So we have four equations uh, based on the previous one. So first we have to take three, equation three into one. Okay, so three into one means that you can get VR equals to R I cos theta. Okay, and then you consider four into equation two. So you'll get Vx equivalent to x i sine theta. Okay. So by this equation, so you will get Vd equals to R i cos theta. You minus with the x i sine theta. Okay. Referring to the previous equation. Therefore, after that, you calculate here. You get i times r cos theta. Sorry, r cos theta. This one is wrong. Okay. So R cos theta, you minus with I sine theta. Okay. So this is the equation that shows here. So voltage drop equivalent to IB times RL cos theta minus XL sine theta. So RL is the circuit resistance in ohms. XL is the circuit reactant in ohms. IB is the design current or line current. Theta is the phase angle of the line current. And we can get the percentage of the voltage drop by using this equation. Okay, so VA when we consider VA is the system voltage or the phase voltage. Okay, phase voltage. So you get uh, this equation. So you can use this equation to get the percentage of the voltage drop, which is voltage drop divided by the system voltage times with the 100%, then you can get the percentage of the voltage drop. So, we look at the example 1. Determine the percentage voltage drop along a, one, a 415 volt. This is line to line voltage. Okay, three phase feeder, 85 feet in length, consisting of one 400 thermoplastic heat and water resistant insulated wire, copper conductor per phase. The current is 350 amperes. Okay, this one is IB okay, at 0 0.85 power factor lagging. So it shows that this is the inductive load. Okay, and then assume steel conduit. So how we want to identify, how do you want to determine the percentage voltage drop? So by using the previous equation, okay, which is V drop equivalent to IB times RL cos theta minus XL sine theta. Okay, by using this equation. So, this is the solution. Uh, first, you have to identify what is the resistance and the reactance from the table of 600 volt cables. So, this is the table of the 600 volt cables. So, we have here, uh, the first column is for the size of the conductor. 
And then we have here is the ohms uh, to neutral per um, the the upper one is for per kilometer, and the uh, below ones is for the ohms to neutral per thousand feet. Okay, so we will uh, take the value or the data at the uh, below side. Okay, so here we have the reactance for all wires. This one is the alternating current resistance for uncoated copper wires. Uh, the, sec the third one is alternating current resistance for aluminum wires. The fourth one is the effective uh, impedance at 0 0.85 power factor for uncoated copper wires. And the final one is the effective impedance at 0 0.85 power factor for aluminum wires. So based on, based on our examples uh, for the reactants, we will look at, at the, um, sorry, for the resistance, we will look at this column, okay? This column, which is the alternating current resistance for uncoated copper wires. And then uh, for this, uh, for the um, inductance, okay, so we will, look at this column okay for the uncoated copper wires at the uh, for the steel conduit okay this one and this one so you have to look at the 400 for the 400 sizing the cable and then we look at here so we choose at the bottom one is 0 0.035 uh, for the um, for the resistance and also for the steel conduit, and for the uh, inductance, we choose 0 0.056. That's why we get here. So for the resistance is 0 0.035 ohm per thousand feet, and reactant 0 0.056 ohm per thousand feet. Okay. So um, then you have to calculate what is the value of the resistance. So 0 0.035 divided by 1000 and then you have to uh, calculate, you have to times with um, 85, okay? So because of the 85 um, feet in length. So you get 0. 002975 ohms for the resistance. Then you have to calculate for the reactance. Reactance is 0 0.056 divided by 1000 times 85 of feet length, and then you get 0 0.00476 ohm. Okay, then you have to calculate the theta because of what we have to use this equation. We know that we drop equivalent to I times with the um, R cos theta, okay, and then minus X sine theta, okay. So we have to find what is the, what is the theta. So theta is, we know that the power factor the given that power factor is 0 0.85, okay? So we know that power factor is cos theta, okay? So in order to get the theta, so we have to cos power factor, okay? So here is the theta. So you just, uh, you just write, uh, for the power factor is 0 0.585. This is the power factor. Then you get negative point negative 31.79 degree for the theta. Okay, so you just uh, after you get the um, the degree for the theta. Okay. Then the value for the data, then you can um, just use all this data okay, inside the formulation of a voltage drop uh, as I shown before. So voltage drop equals billion to this one is I, okay. This one is I 
Okay, this one is the R cos theta okay, minus x sine theta. So you just include this uh, value in the equation. Then you get uh, 1.76 uh, volt, volt. Okay, then you can calculate the percentage of the voltage drop. Okay, this one, if we refer to the previous uh, equation, percentage of VD equals to the system equals to the voltage drop you divide by the voltage system you times with 100 right okay so vs you know that here is vs vs is the phase voltage okay but in the questions they give VLF, okay? So we know V phase equivalent to V line to line divided by Z3, okay? So we have that 415 divided by Z3, we get 239.6 volts. Then, we use this value in the system voltage okay for this formulation okay then the voltage drop we got here is 1.76 we divide by 239.6 volt then you will get 0.73 percent okay it's just a small numbers of the voltage drop okay so this is how uh, we want to calculate the voltage drop using the equations okay the equations uh, vd equals to ib times R cos theta minus X sine theta. And also we refer to the table of 600 volt cables.